Stockholm University student Olaf Nebrin is a big proponent of the so-called Bored, Guth, and Vilenkin theorem and is supposed showing that the universe began to exist. But a somewhat remarkable event has occurred that completely invalidates, once again, the notion that the BVG theorem shows the universe had a beginning. What has occurred is that Alexander Vilenkin, in an email exchange with Lawrence Cross, has admitted that the BVG theorem uses a classical picture of space-time. This means that, once again, the BVG theorem does not show the universe had a beginning, because at the small, microscopic scale, space-time is not classical, but quantum. At the quantum scale, space-time is no longer continuous, like it is classically, but discrete. Indeed, quoting Wikipedia, causal sets loop quantum gravity, string theory, and black hole thermodynamics all predict a quantized space-time with agreement on the order of magnitude." Unquote. So, what is probably considered by Stockholm University student Olaf Nebrin to be his best and strongest evidence for claiming the universe had a beginning has now been completely invalidated, quite inadvertently, and unintentionally by Alexander Vilenkin, when Alexander Vilenkin admitted that the BVG theorem uses a classical picture of space-time and thus, by implied entailment, the theorem is not applicable to a non-classical quantum space-time.